Hello guys, welcome to Datri Solutions. Today I will show you a website called Dormantry Booking System. In this, this project is developed for helping students to find residency in a college or a, a new place. Like, there yeah, are students want to study abroad and some other places and they want some place to stay there for until their studies is completed. So, but when we actually get there, students might get trouble to find a good residency. So for that particular reason, we have developed this website that students able to find host dormitories or uh, rooms, which they can easily book for their for themselves and also for their friends as well. So let's look at the flow of the project. So in this project, we have two modules, admin and student. Admin is a person who enters all the room details, or especially to maintain a, a place, residence. So in this project, admin will have predefined login credentials. With that login credentials, admin will login. After logging into his account, admin will add the rooms by defining how many cards are there, how, I mean, how many beds in a room, uh, the price of the room, all the room details, facilities, what are there, everything will be added while admin adding the rooms. After adding the rooms, admin can also view them. Students need to register by giving their roll number, class, which stream or which kind of studies they are actually studying right now, all the details and after successful registration, students can log in with that email and password. After logging into their accounts, they can view all the rooms available in the dormitory and they can select one and they can book a particular number of beds in that room. Or they can select, if the room have four, they can even select three or completely four if those are available. After com confirm booking, they have to confirm it by paying the relevant amount. This request, first of all, when they select a room, they will just click on um, confirm it. So when the accept is made by the admin, then only the rooms will be allocated and the student need to pay the relevant amount for the confirmation of the room. This is it. Now let's look at the project. This is our home website, dormitory management. So admin will log in with the default credentials such as username as admin and password as admin as well. After logging into account, admin will add the rooms, right? So give the room number, such as to how many beds are there, the two rooms, well, how much price per day, 15, charge per month, we can say something, 350, rooms from four style rooms, specialty room, that, specialties after adding the rooms you can see the rooms that are added by the admin a regular room and some styled dorms etc now let's see students have to register first so they will uh, they will have to give their role number they have to mention their name uh, their email address they have to upload their picture so they have to upload their picture. Let's look at the picture. Yeah. They can, okay. After that, they will have to enter the password for login purpose. They have to choose the agenda, phone number. And the course detail. address some address their residence address they have to give I'm sorry we have to give at the rate 
otherwise the way if validation will be there the system won't allow anything other than the actual email address so successful registration after that students can log in with their email id and password which they have mentioned while registration now when they enter into their page they can see all their details here as well they can click on the id they will see their picture if they want to change their profile they can even change here if they want to change the phone number they can change it update yeah here we can see updated now send request you know this is the requesting a message some request whatever the specification something the request would be from which date to which date they want to stay there they can mention it and when they are going to join student have to mention so how many students you can say two so if you say two there they have to mention their friends detail as well we said that now roll number phone number they have to mention they also have to mention their profile picture let's give it gender course details some course and address now you know we have already selected all the things so send request this particular request will send to the admin let's look at it view request you know these are the requests here admin can accept or reject these for these students they are requesting a room to stay so after accepting it he will assign rooms so assign room so you can assign what are the rooms are there you know date assign assign for one student and another student as well he will assign it here based on the availability of the beds the bed type and i mean bed number will automatically change in room 2 we already one assigned to another student so for this second room the bed 2 is available for that bed is allocating to the another student if we observe that so these are all assigned so let's see student have to now pay the amount you assigned rooms you know these are the assigned rooms these are the oh, okay now they have to pay the amount how many for that particular room for these many days is this much so students have to pay that much amount card number name on card expired date and cvv they have to pay so amount paid this particular request payment and everything will be sent to the admin we can see all the students payments here these are the another students came jason so kodi jones everything view payments we can see now this kodi even have paid, didn't haven't paid any amount because assigned but never paid anything so we can see jason he paid the amount so by this way admin also give the payment details as well like this so this is the way 
this whole project and website will work hope you guys understand thank you so much for watching